Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The sales invoicing window is used to create customer invoices for items which you have shipped or services you have provided. Remember that invoices do impact the amounts shown in the accounts receivable account. The invoice window is very similar in appearance to the sales order window, but there are two tabs here which do not appear in the sales order window. One is the apply to sales order tab and the other is the apply to sales tab. The apply to sales tab is where you place items and services that you are selling directly to the customers without using the sales orders window. It is similar to the sales order windows line item area. You simply enter the items that you are selling and the amounts. The apply to sales order number tab allows you to ship selected items from a selected sales order to the customer. You can use the drop down that appears on this tab to select from which sales order you want to ship items. Those items will then appear in the tabs line item area and you simply input how many of each of the listed items you will be shipping and billing. Now at the bottom of the window you can actually enter the tax code of the customer to make sure that it's set correctly. You can also enter in the freight amount if needed. Remember that the amounts that you put into this box are associated with the expense account that you set for freight within the item defaults window. You can also use freight as an individual line item within the line item area of the invoice if having only one freight account is inadequate for your business needs. Now starting in Peachtree 2005 is the customer account information in the lower left corner. Once a customer is selected within an invoice, this area shows their receivable balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Clicking the right pointing arrow in this area will show you a report on the selected customer. Now when you're done creating your invoice, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Sales Invoicing window to save the transaction. Note that there are a few ways in which you can print the invoices which you have entered in the sales invoicing window. If you do not intend to print the invoices in Peachtree, but you simply enter them for accounting purposes, then you can type the actual invoice number assigned to this invoice directly into the invoice number text box in the upper right corner of the sales form and simply save the form. You will then be able to receive payment against the invoice in the receipts window at a later point in time. If you do wish to print invoices entered into Peachtree, then you will not enter an invoice number into this form. Instead, you must first decide if you want to print just one invoice or if you wish to print a batch of invoices. If you wish to print just one invoice at a time, you can display the invoice which you wish to print within the sales invoicing window and then simply click the print button in the toolbar at the top of the window. You can then print the selected invoice using the form you select and also assign the invoice number while printing the invoice. However, if you wish to print a batch of invoices, you should first create and save the invoices without assigning them an invoice number. The procedure then changes depending upon the version of Peachtree that you're using. If using Peachtree 2008 or later, select Reports and Forms from the menu bar and then choose Accounts Receivable in order to open the Select a Report or Form window. Here you will click the Forms tab in the upper left corner of the window to display the forms associated with the Accounts Receivable category. Ensure that the Invoices and Packing Slips choice is selected from the Form Type scrollable list in the upper left corner of that window. Then select the desired type of invoice to use from the choices shown in the Forms list before that. You can then use the Preview and Print button that appears in the lower right corner to preview and print the forms that are displayed. Note that after changing any criteria that appear in the left side of this window, you may need to click the Refresh List button to refresh the listing of invoices to print, which should appear at the right side of the window. Now once you see the desired batch of invoices to print in this list, you can then click the print slash email button to print them. Now if you're using Peachtree 2003 through 2007 to print a batch of invoices, 
Then choose Reports from the menu bar, and then choose Accounts Receivable in order to launch the Select a Report window. You would then scroll down through the entries in the report list until you find the Invoices slash Packaging Slips folder. Click on this folder once to display a listing of the available printed invoice formats. Then click on the name of the invoice form which you would like to print from this list, and then click the Print button in the toolbar at the top of the Select a Report window to open a dialog box where you can set desired printing options for the invoices. Select the Unprinted Invoices option in the upper left corner of the dialog box, and then type the number of the first invoice to be printed into the First Invoice Number text box. You can also select the final date for which you would like any unprinted invoices to be printed from the last date for which all invoices will print date dropped at. Use the available filters in the Filter Range section to apply any additional filters which you would like to use for printing the invoices, and when you are ready, simply click OK to print the selected batch of invoices. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.